Welcome back to a new tutorial from TechBoost. My name is Jordi and today I'm going to show you 10 tips and tricks to get better and more productive in Microsoft Teams. And before we start with this tutorial, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and to show your support for the channel. Let's start with tip number one. In Microsoft Teams, you can enable a dark team. If you work for hours in a row with the white background, you can quickly get eye strain. To change the team, go to your profile, go to settings and then choose dark. There it is, you can go back in there for hours. Tip number two are the notifications. With a lot of people working at home, you don't want to get a notification from Teams every five minutes. Fortunately, all notifications can be adjusted or even turned off. Go to your profile, go to settings, and then notifications. For each function within Teams, you can change or disable the notification. Tip number three is one I use every day. When you have multiple chats, teams and channels, sometimes there's no longer an overview. You can't forget or lose those important messages from a colleague with the save function. Move the cursor to the right top corner of the message and click on the ellipsis button. Then you will see save this message. To find all saved messages again, click on your profile and then click on saved. All saved messages are now on the left side. To keep an overview of many teams and channels, you can pin channels you use a lot. These channels are now always at the top of the list on the Teams page and also stays under the team where it belongs. Another way to quickly navigate to a channel is to use a command. Type forward slash go to followed by the name of a channel and you can navigate to a channel with one click. If you as a team owner want to keep a team serious, you can choose to turn off the ability to send memes and GIFs. Right click on the channel and go to manage settings. Then go to settings and under the option no fun, you can turn everything off. But a bit of humor is recommended. Tip number six is to work more efficiently. If you use a file often and work in it often, it's easy to access it quickly. You can just add it as a tab. Go to the files of a channel and click on the ellipsis button. There you will see the option to make this a tab. And there you go. From now on a quick access to the file you often work on. Tip number seven is a tip for team administrators. If you need to create a team with the same structure more often, you can easily select a template. Click on create a new team, but choose using an existing team as a template. Here you select from which team you want to take over the structure and you are ready to go, you have saved some time with creating a new team. If these tips are helping you out, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos and to show your support for this channel. Synchronizing is already a well-known option of SharePoint, but can also be done with Teams. Click on Sync per channel on the Files page, and now this folder, that's a Teams channel, is also visible in your Windows Explorer. If a team is created within Teams, a side page is created on SharePoint. For channels, SharePoint creates folders. You can also open files from Teams in SharePoint and then perform more actions and see more information in SharePoint, such as viewing the version history of a file. Within Teams, you don't have to share all the files with others. You can also work alone on files and manage them. This way you don't have to open another program or window. Click on the files in the bar on the left and you will see your OneDrive in case your account is linked. 
Besides OneDrive, you can also add cloud storage from Dropbox, Box and Google Drive. Those were already the 10 tips from Microsoft Teams for beginners. Let me know what tips helped you out and if you have other questions about Teams, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel as well. I want to thank you for watching and have a nice day.